how to use PagePilot AI with CJ Dropshipping. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the PagePilot with your CJ Dropshipping source. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do right there is to uh, create an account within a page pilot. For those who doesn't know what is page pilot, it is a, a website or a platform running with AI that will help you uh, create a landing page or a product page and also modify it to something better. And how we can link or make the work for the page pilot and also uh, CJ dropshipping, it is very easy. We need a um, right here in between app or a between platform to connect those two. And in our case, is here we have uh, the Shopify. So we need to create an account within Shopify. Then you are going to install uh, the CJ dropshipping. All we need to do right there is to uh, search on uh, the uh, CJ drop dropshipping on our Shopify here marketplace or app store we're going to wait until we sort of find this specific app here g not h so we have here cj dropshipping i have already installed that specific app we are going to click on open right there if you didn't have installed that app you are going to grant the permission to be installed in our store here uh, we have uh, the account so we have right there the account it has switched to our account let's see here if our sh store or Shopify store is connected I'm going to click on authorization go to the Shopify select a Shopify then wait and see if your store is already connected I'm going to see the authorization and boom here we have the store code or the store address let's see here we have the same one right there so everything is set and everything is okay now the next step that we need to do is to head over again CJ drop shipping we are going to set up a product or add a product from it and get uh, and get a link from Shopify to put it right there but before that we are going to connect page pilot to our Shopify store here we have the Shopify stores. We are going to click on connect. Now we are going to set up uh, or put the Shopify store. I'm going to copy the link, put it right there. I think this is the Shopify link. Here we need a Shopify key. So here we have uh, the, uh, as you can see, the steps that we need to perform to get our Shopify key, how to get your Shopify key, go to your Shopify admin app put uh, or sidebar, click on add and sales yeah, right there. Click on next and see that we have uh, the, let's say app development. We are going to select page pilot and then we are going to create the app. So then we are going to confirm it manually. I'm going to set that manually. Then we are going back to the next steps so after we have created right there the uh, app as mentioned here all you need to do is to follow these steps now we are on the uh, configuration we need to search for product product right there we have the product i'm going to let the permission for that then we are going to search for theme then we are going also to let here the theme a be like that then we are going to click on save right there everything is saved so right here after we have set all of these we need only to uh, make sure that everything has been uh, set for the products now we are going to click on install the app click on install again and boom here we have the uh, token we are going to reveal it once go ahead and copy and paste it right there into our shopify key then we are going to uh, get the Shopify uh, link from there. I'm going to wait, open up my Shopify store, get right here the link, put it right there, click on connect store. 
and wait for it to be connected and boom here we have it now the next step is to go back right there to the uh, shopify or the cj drop shipping we're going to click on find products now we are going to see for ourselves a product i'm going to choose one of these products then we are going to set it up so here uh, you need to set up a product that will work on the market and also will be sold so this is a nonsense if you are going to use a product that will not get some sales and also some marketing uh, or you will get some uh, marketing issues with it for example it is not favorable or not uh, very um, popular with the uh, audience and also the clients maybe we are going to use this bowl or this galaxy led bowl or projector right there we have it so all we need to do is to wait for the product to load up i'm going to click on list then we need to list it to our shopify store we're going to set up the product details we are going to set the store selection to our shopify store make sure to select it now for the product type i'm going to set here projector lamp maybe so we are going to add it like that the tags you can go ahead and set light or led light projector uh, uh here night for example light so then the collection you can go ahead and choose a collection here we are going to set up the uh, variant pricing we're going to set up the uh, price for example of 430 now here we are going to see the videos and also the images go ahead and choose the different videos and images you can go ahead and uh, modify the description of it now all we need to do is to click on a list it now we're going to wait for a few seconds until we will get a uh, the product added so in the meanwhile we are going to verify it right there to the uh, or into our shopify store we're going to see here if we have it and boom here we have it i'm going to enter in that specific one it is still adding the pictures also the uh the different uh, component but here i'm going to speed up all the process i'm going to click on view and boom here we have the images i like that so here we have everything it is still adding the details of it till now uh go ahead and modify all of the pictures that you don't want to see for example in my case i think that i have a picture which is this one is not a very good picture so we need to search for it and this is it i'm going to uh, delete all of these pictures that are not necessary click on remove and we are going to right there refresh the page and boom here we have it now everything is set all we need to do is to get that specific link Go ahead and copy that link go to the page pilot and click on generate choose the product source here we have shopify now we are going to uh, paste that shopify product url what the product angle should be here we are going to set uh, let's say uh, for example this is optional but i'm going i'm not going to set uh, something so all we need to do is to click on generate it will be uh, loading right there the page we have a percentage going on right there and boom here we have uh, the product page it will be uh, built within this specific page and because we have made uh, the permission or we have granted the permission for the page pilot to modify they will be showing up something like that so as you can see here we have it now we are going to click on import now as you can see we need to get a subscription monthly or yearly to get those but in my case i will not choose those if you need these features or these pages as you can see here we have a, a lot more um, 
going on right there so as you can see here we have the page the variants and everything we have some reviews we have a lot of things so in comparison with the standard uh, page that we have on Shopify, this is uh, not very cool so you need to get the uh, subscription for it after you have said that you need only to make sure that you have activated the fulfillment automatically to your specific product so you need to click on your product right there extend this bar you are going to see the store products then make sure that it is listed and also linked. So here we are going to see my CJ product real quick. Now I think that we have it right there. It is linked. So we are going to click on the three dots, click on CJ fulfillment in case you will get some fulfillment and it will be synchronizing to the store. After you have got a uh, right there, a order, for that specific uh, product, which is from CJ Dropshipping, CJ Dropshipping will fulfill it automatically. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.